In this video, I'm going to create the controls to request a car. So I'm going to put these controls on the bottom of my home page. And I'm going to use Ionic's grid system to lay out these controls. So using Ion Row and Ion Column, I can specify the width of 50%, for instance. And I'll add two buttons, one for paying with Visa and one for paying with cash. And then I'm going to go into my homepage style sheet and I'm going to add the styles for the bottom class, which is going to put my controls at the bottom of the homepage using position absolute. And I'm going to make the request controls class align the text to the center and have a background of a linear gradient, which is going to transition from transparent into the ionic color light. So I'll show where that colors variable comes from in a second. So here in the app variables of Ionic, we see the different colors that are used. And so this variable can be used inside of our own style sheets using the map get function from SCSS. Now let's go back to our homepage and finish flushing out our controls. So we need a button that when clicked is going to request a car. And I'll also include some copy at the bottom that says approximately how far the car is away. And we can see the results in our app. And we can experiment by changing the base colors in the Ionic theme. And I'll modify to do a dark gray and a light gray as primary and secondary colors. So now let's handle when the user requests to be picked up through our app. So they click the button and we're going to add a confirm pickup method to our homepage class. So when they click this, we want to set an instance variable that we can use in this class and also be able to pass down to our components. So I'll just set it for true when the user clicks to be picked up. And we'll add in also the ability to cancel that. So I'll set that as false. And I'll add another button for when they want to cancel. And there's a couple different ways we could toggle back and forth between which button to show. We could use NGF, which will remove the element if its value is false. Or we can use hidden, which will set the element to a displayed none if the hidden property is true. And the hidden property will work fine here, so I'll use that. And we can see in our app this allows us to toggle back and forth. And I noticed the Uber app also has a back arrow in the, the navigation header to allow you to cancel. So I'm going to add that to my app as well using a similar style with the hidden property. And I'll set the title accordingly, whether the user is being picked up or is still waiting to request to be picked up. And we can see in our app that either way, the button or the nav bar allows us to cancel being picked up. And to finish up this lesson, I'm going to pass the is pickup requested as an input to our map component, which we'll explore more in future lessons.